Alrighty, bros, good morning. Welcome to the vlog, four days out. Ah, every morning is just like, it's getting to be that time where every morning feels pretty good, getting closer and closer. And four days out is pretty exciting too. So I'm pumped, I'm pumped. Continuing to kind of hopefully work through our little virus situation. I think it should be okay. Today is gonna be leg day, but with four days out, I mean, these workouts are gonna be like super, super chill. So probably won't even get under the squat rack. Just might just do some body weight legs, do some isolation legs, and then just do posing. Just let us get some, get some blood flowing and stay in rhythm. Uh, yesterday, we bumped up the calories a little bit, had about 300 grams of carbs, which is great. Uh, I do think I want to add calories and carbohydrates a little bit further uh, out this week, and then that way we can kind of dial it in and tighten things up leading into the last couple of days. I think that's going to be fun. And I think that'll make me feel good because that way I'm not like super bloated, super full going into the show because that's not usually how I feel. And that's not usually how I like to feel either. So, but getting a little bit more food during the week would be good. I am noticing myself filling out a little bit, which is cool. But it was fun yesterday. Um, one of the things I did is I had about 200 grams of Cheerios with a Legion protein cookie and a Legion protein bar before bed. And that dried me out like crazy. I woke up like twice having to drink water. I don't usually drink water in the middle of the night, but I, I was like super thirsty last night. So that's interesting. And I woke up and I had veins all coming up my stomach and stuff. So it's like, all right, good to know. Cheerios are checked off for one of my dry carbs to have. Kind of like, you know, as one of those carb up foods. Uh, I weighed 169.8 today, which is fine. You know, maybe just a little bit more food in my system. But also, again, I did have to get up and drink like a liter and a half of water or something like that. So that may account for a little bit of extra weight on the scale. So we ain't worried about that. We're definitely not gaining like fat, uh, eating 2,600 calories for the day. That's just, there's no way. But 300 grams of carbs, 175 grams of fat, like 62 grams of protein is what that 2,600 sort of was um, comprised of. And like I said, the, the Cheerios definitely worked out great. So, I mean, we, we already eat a ton of oatmeal. The thing is, if I eat more than like 120 grams of oatmeal at a time, it starts to bother me, even though I love oatmeal. So having Cheerios and having 200 grams of Cheerios and being able to tolerate that just fine is great. That's great. I'm probably also this week going to start taking like the salads down a little bit. I, I had a salad for my first two meals, but I didn't have it for the, for the last meal. So just cutting down on the veggies just a little bit. I don't need to really have the hunger management element of the veggies so much. And I kind of want to cut down on any extra just food bulk just so I can feel real tight in my stomach and just kind of work that, work that in. But yeah, I mean, I don't think we're going to be losing any more fat at this point. We're going to try to be filling out a little bit more. And, you know, the end of this prep has been, you know, not really optimal, right? I feel like doing BlizzCon and then getting sick, not being able to do my walks, kind of have training be a little bit different and having stress be a little bit different. It's just, it's not optimal, but we're going to, we're gonna still come in in good, pretty good shape, I think. We're vlogging, so Samson's gonna start yelling. But yeah, definitely not super optimal. And we can talk about this more in review after the whole prep and stuff like that, but I think I, I learned a lot about this prep, a lot of good things, but I think I also learned a couple things that are like, hmm, we gotta figure out how to address that. Like, I do feel like I came in a little bit like stringier than I'd prefer, but again, we'll see how the carbs look once I get them in, because I, I do feel like I know, I give myself a little bit of a hard time because I'm a little bit critical, but uh, we do actually kind of kind of nutty <laughs> in the morning when we, get the, when we wake up and we're dry and carved up. So a couple more days of that, hopefully we'll fill out and look pretty good and then it'll all be good. But yeah, we could talk about uh, things that we could have done better next time. Maybe we went a little behind the cardio, but then again, like the cardio was like fun. It helped me have my good energy at night for streaming, helped me kind of accomplish my like life goals and it helped me not be so hungry at night too. So you know, whatever. There, there's positives and negatives, but I think all in all, this has been a good prep and we got four more days of it. But at this point, we're adding calories. We're not going to go nuts with food. We have Tuesday, today, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I think that like today will be like, like a normalish day. Wednesday, Thursday might be the highest days. And then Friday will probably be like a, a day, probably like today, where still high carbs, but not like going to hammer food. And then Saturday, we'll kind of add some food in, like have like a meal or two before the stage and then try to get ready to rock for our, you know, our show. So it should be fun. Anyway, we're going to go train some legs. Going to try to keep it super chill. Last day, or last leg day, I was like destroyed. Like I just, like, I think 
combination of prep and like being sick was not good. So we're gonna try to be smart about it, get warmed up, get the legs some blood in there because I like the feeling of that. And then we'll do our posing and then add some food today. It should be fun. Either way, we'll keep you guys posted. Thanks for watching, thanks for the encouragement. Let's go lift a little bit. It is gains time, we'll see. Not gonna be big gains today. Very chill gains today. We're four days out. Yeah, we're gonna see what we can do today. Get a little bit of light leg activation. Just a little bit of uh, blood flow to the legs today. And then we'll definitely do some good posing today too. Yo, what's up, buddies? Welcome to three days out. Man, oh man. I, I told you guys time would go fast. And it is. It's going fast. That's fine by me. Got a busy day today. Uh, did um, a little bit of uh, higher calories yesterday, too. I think we got up to like 2,800. Let me actually just check. Let me just, just go ahead and get the deets right for you. Uh, added in some rice yesterday. Rice still doesn't really feel like the absolute best to me compared to some of the other stuff that we've been doing, but I wanted to experiment. Yeah, yesterday was uh, um, like a 2,800 calorie day almost. Did some pasta, I added just a little bit of pasta in my salads. And then we had um, some rice and oatmeal combo, which I'm probably still gonna be using for my bulk um, at night. So it ended up at, um, this was yesterday, yeah. 156 grams of protein, 385 grams of carbs, and 46 grams of fat. So protein and fat are a little bit lower on purpose just to let the calories not go crazy high, even though the carbs are getting up close to 400 grams of carbs. Today, we're probably going to do 3K calories. I'm going to try to do 458 grams of carbs, 161 fat, 41, sorry, 161 protein, like 41 fat. So that's kind of what I'm planning. Or we have another variant of that that does 150 protein, 460 carb, and 50 fat. So we'll kind of see what we want to do. But either way, um, feeling pretty good. Everything digested fine. I just feel like that's it. I'm probably just eating like pretty big meals at one time. That's really all there is to it. I can usually tolerate quite a bit of food at once. Um, but I eat that big meal and I went to bed, wake up, ready to eat again. But not yet. Got to train first. Got a little bit of a light uh, chest day today. Uh, Got to take it easy, these workouts. Did yesterday with leg day was good. A lot of body weight stuff. Still worked out for a while. I just enjoy working out, so it makes me feel good. Then we did a lot of posing, big posing session at the end of the day. So look at the redness on my face. I don't know. We shaved yesterday, so probably just mad anyway. Um, did shave a, a, quit, uh, a fair amount yesterday. Got to do a little bit more today just to finish up, and then we'll probably go get a base coat of tan just from like a tanning salon just to kind of get something established and get kind of an idea of what that tan is going to look like. We're gonna get the real deal tan Friday, Saturday though, so that's part of the plan too. Still tested positive for C19 yesterday, but it didn't. It the the line was not like hot pink right off the bat, so I think we're on the on the mend for that. I do feel a lot better than I had, so that's good. Um, but yeah, I mean, the plan is just kind of take it easy, keep keep getting the carbs in. Um, right now, my plan for the carb up has been actually a slower carb up. But I've been keeping my calories not crazy high with that carb up, and I'm still eating like the normal food that I would eat, so I'm not getting kind of too crazy. I don't think we're gaining uh, a lot of like fat, but my weight has come up a little bit. I think today it was 171. Point, it may even have been 171.8. No, no, 171.2. So maybe 171.8 tomorrow. I'm looking to probably be about 175 on stage, but when I weigh myself at night, like after eating. Um, not my last meal, but like between my the second to last meal and last meal, I'm like 175. So that's probably what I expect to be on stage. And it's cool because once I start getting a couple meals in, I do look a little bit fuller and, and you know, pretty juicy. And um, I don't do a lot of water depletion, but we will also won't be drinking a ton of water like throughout the day. So 
what will probably happen is we'll eat and then I'll, you know, have, you know, my meal or two and then we'll just kind of dry out. And once I start drying out, all the veins start coming all up my stomach and hopefully the veins in the shoulders and even maybe even chest come out. Uh, if my legs get a little bit of blood in there, the legs start looking really cool with veins and stuff too. And if I can have that kind of look on stage, that'll be awesome. That will be awesome. So that'll be the plan. But yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm also excited for, you know, after the show to sort of like ease into our maintenance period and start making some gains again. That'll be really fun too. We've set myself up for a very, very good off season. Again, if we can crack the top 10 at this show, that'd be amazing. If we can crack the top five, get a trophy that I can give to Archer, that would be the dream. I don't think we're winning the show, <laughs> guys. I don't think so. But we'll see. You never know. I mean, if I show up conditioned and have a good time and let my passion shine through my stage presence and we got a chance at you know, being relatively competitive up there. So that's the plan. But anyway, let's go work out a little bit. Let's go have some fun. I think, uh, depending on when this video comes out, I do want to mention that Legion is doing a massive, like, buy one, get one 50% off sale. So don't miss out on that. Big shout out to Legion for, you know, getting me through this prep, man. The, the, the muscle build stack and the fat loss stack combined have pretty much been what I've been using. And it's been a, a fantastic addition to the whole setup with the fat loss uh, additions. I always use the build muscle stack, basically, but... Speaking of that, excited to get protein back in the diet too. I've been missing my Legion protein drinks, but I have been enjoying the Legion protein bars and protein cookies. So get you some of those. Let's get out to the gym. Three days out, man. You can smell it. <laughs> Let's go. I'm a little tired today, not gonna lie. We did legs yesterday and it was actually like a half decent leg day. So try to do a little light chesty day today and do some posing, I guess. And go eat, you know? <laughs> team another day another vlog two days out so this will probably be my last like actual workout we'll probably do a little something at the house like tomorrow a little chest little you know push-ups got some dumbbells do some curls some shoulder stuff just to get warmed up um but yeah this is this is about it two days out i already got like a little like base tan not nearly the type of tan you're gonna get at the show uh, actually, probably going to get the first coat tomorrow if all goes well. Got to figure out how to find out where the tanning stuff is and get an appointment and make that happen. Hopefully, sooner rather than later. That'd be ideal. That's like the one thing that I got to do left, really. That's like uncertain is just get the tan. But yeah, all things considered, all going good. Took some nice little swolfy yesterday, looking pretty sharp. Um, calories were at like 3K. And yeah, so yesterday's calories were... Um, like 29.50 or 3K or so. 157 proteins, like 160 protein, 415 grams of carbs and like 52 grams of fat. And I woke up today. No, no, sorry, that's, that, that, was, that was the day before. Pardon me, that was Wednesday. Thursday was 150 grams of protein, 463 grams of carbohydrates and 50 grams of fat. So a little bit over 3K calories yesterday. And I actually woke up today lighter. So that was interesting. I woke up at 170.8. Weight doesn't really matter at this point, just Kind of cool to see. My weight is not ballooning up, that's for dang sure. So we're probably not gaining a whole lot of fat. I feel like sometimes during the day I look a little like uh, not as sharp, but then you know take you know an hour or two after your meal, and tighten up pretty nice. So uh, I think carbs are still going in today, and we'll take a look at it and then see what's going on on Friday. Friday I could stay a little sharper, or we could add more food. I definitely feel like I could fill out more still, but we don't want to be getting too. Uh, spilled or you know like you know just like filmy or anything like that shouldn't though just because my calories aren't going really really crazy high just don't need to do that and we've been adding carbs throughout the course of the week so it's not going to be as intense of a load requirement which is right on the money with how i want to do it i want to stay a little sharper and feel a little better that's all good we haven't really been doing any cardio 
It is what it is, man. Like I said, the last like couple weeks of this prep with BlizzCon and with getting sick, it's just like it may not have been optimal. It may not have been ideal, but it is what it is, and we're going to go take our best physique that we can muster and have some fun with it, which I think should be competitive. Should be good. Should be fun. Uh, a lot of things we learned with this prep, though, that will apply for the next time, most definitely. But what will also be fun for the next prep is we're just doing one show. From basically from now on, I, I maybe it'll change, but um, we have basically secured the right to compete in like one big world championship event um, every you know interval that I decide to compete, which I think will probably be like two years. Every two years sounds good. Every one year would be kind of fun too, but I don't think I'd really make that much progress if I only was bulking for like not even a full year in between. I think like giving myself a good like year and a half in between shows. And then dieting down over like a four to five month period, depending on how lean I am going into it, would probably be optimal. That'd be some good gains and that'd be good fun. And every other year would be less of a strain on myself and family and people who, you know, are around me. Which, you know, me and Jenny were talking about it. I try not to let my prep affect everybody too much, but it does a little bit. And this is the first time I've ever prepped with having a little baby boy in my life. So definitely interesting and, and definitely learned a lot about not only just the bodybuilding side, but of course, like how to manage it all. And we'll do better next time. We didn't do bad this time, but there's room for improvement with everything. That's what we'll do next time. But um, speaking of room for improvement, we ain't got a whole lot of uh, room to improve on the physique right now in terms of like building muscle. But I am excited to go get a little bit of a back workout again, hang out with our buds, because this is going to be a, a crazy time, man. We're going to do our workout, and then we're off to LA, and then we're coming back from LA for like a day, not even. And then we're heading up to uh, Jenny's parents for Thanksgiving. So we're going to take us a little vacation after all this, it looks like. I didn't realize that they were like bookended quite that uh, tightly, but that's how it's going to be. So we'll be seeing you guys um, in the vlogs and on social media, but we're not going to really be streaming all that much games. I'll probably take my laptop. Shout outs to Origin PC. Shout outs to Rockat. Shout outs to Turtle Beach for uh, providing me with the setup on the go. We'll maybe do a little bit of gaming in the evening time up in, uh, in uh, you know, Utah when everybody's chilling and I can just play some games and chill. Talk to my homies. It'd be nice to check in for sure. But anyway, we're going to go get our workout in, go do some posing, of course. And then we're going to have another fun day of getting some food in. We're going to head up to my parents' place up in LA, chill with them and uh, relax and, you know, try to keep the carbs coming in and filling up a little bit and hopefully put together a pretty good physique for Saturday. But then, of course, we'll have Friday, which would be a pretty low key day as well, except for running around and checking in and going and doing media, drug testing, tanning, all that stuff. It should all be fine, but it's going to be a bit of a busy day. So make sure we bring food with us and keep the carb up rolling. But everything's digesting well. Uh, I'm still feeling pretty good. Curiously, rice is still like making me feel like more bloated than I want. So sticking with the oatmeal, rice cakes, which is interesting that rice cakes are fine, and Cheerios, dry Cheerios. And then those Legion protein bars and protein cookies are also very good too. But anyway, let's go get in the gym. Have a fun day. We'll see you guys out there.